One thing I learned early on as a young believer when I gave my life to the Lord in my early 20s is, is that being a pastor is a serious, serious job because you are over. The Lord is holding you responsible for being a shepherd over the flock of people, of people. You've got people's lives in your hands. And when I first got saved, when I was trying to figure out what was going on as the Lord was speaking to me, and I was like, am I called to the ministry? Am I supposed to be whatever? And I speak with my pastor, long story short, he does, does a wait and see and monitor me and make sure I get the proper foundation and education. And I realized I was called to the ministry. And within three years, I preached and became licensed. And then I did not know if I was supposed to be a pastor. I was wondering, like, am I supposed to be a pastor? I don't want to be a pastor. I don't want to be. Once I start realizing seriously, but the Lord showed me, no, that's not your particular calling. My calling is dealing with troubled youth. My calling is in a chaplain style uh, form, being there for those in great need. That's my calling. That, but at the same time, I'm called to preach. So that, but, but that's, I understood that. And the reason why I make this message is because I told you that I'm going to talk about pastor because there's some people, there's one that you might know that you see that they just are so excited about this being a pastor and starting a church up. And there's others that's on YouTube that desire to be a pastor. Some of them are self-appointed and all of this stuff. A lot of them are self-appointed. And you got to understand being a pastor, that is a calling. It's the Lord that calls you to that. It's not you that do the calling. When Paul was on the road to Damascus and getting ready to go kill more Christians, you know, and the Lord converted him, that wasn't in his plan to be all of a sudden, you know, speak preaching and speaking for the God and converting, trying to convert souls. That wasn't the mission for Paul, his mission. You see, it's God that does the calling. And this is the problem. Because if God has not called you, you're going to fall flat on your face. You're going to run into trouble, guaranteed. And I just want to share two quick stories because I told you this in the previous videos back from when before I even got to that point, probably a, a year or two before I got to that point uh, of becoming licensed and, and understanding ministry and wondering like, am I, what kind of minister, which direction is the Lord going to show me to go? I used to work at my church as a custodian. And I saw all of the pastors that would come in and visit my pastor that, you know, and they talked and they all worked together and all of the ministers. And cause I would have to open the door from them. Sometimes you overhear conversations. And there was one young guy, there was two ministers, that I know of. I'm going to share one, both stories real quick. The one, I remember the day he came in, he had just became converted. He was a new, more so believer. He was fairly new, but he felt like he was called to the ministry. And he said he feels like he's called the pastor. I mean, this was like quick. And my pastor told him at the time that I, you're not ready. I don't, I don't think you're ready. You need to be, you're still a novice. You're still, you need to be seasoned a little more. He didn't want to hear it. And I remember him storming out of the church building, left, went and started his own church at some little uh, building up the road and renting out and started this church and had some members and this and that. Long story short, it fell apart after a period of time. And then I know another guy. I know another guy that came into some money at around 42 years old, he came into some investments he had for four, uh, $550,000. And he wanted to be, he was a minister, but his pastor told him, you're not ready quite yet. I'm not going to ordain you. You're not ready. You, 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 you need to be able to be able to rightly divide the word of truth a little better, more, be able to say something a little more. And he didn't want to hear it. But once he got that money, he left that church and he went and got a building and put all his money into this building, got this church going and had it the way he thought he wanted it. And next thing you know, 
Coming to find out, I wonder what happened when the church collapsed and everything collapsed from up underneath them after maybe about a couple years. And I find out that he was after 20, he was married 25 years, had a period. I thought he had a solid marriage and everything. He was sleeping with his, the, his little secretary that he hired on that when he got this church going. Then you see, the devil, man, the devil is slick. Because he will puff you up, lift you up, pride, you know, have you lifted up on a pedestal so much you'll think, oh, I can do this. This is me. And, and, and it's not you. When you're working for the Lord, it's the spirit of God that gives you the ability and the power to do what you need to do. And, and, and that word comes out sharper than a two-edged sword. And people that go about starting up some ministries, and trying to run churches, I seen it, and there, I've got more stories that I've seen from working behind the scenes. I saw it from these pastors and throughout, throughout the cities, and know of the stories that they weren't supposed to be a pastor. I know there was another one uh, guy that he applied to, for a church to be a pastor, but and they gave it to him, the board to be their pastor, but somehow they found out he had been married four times and they went back and pulled their, they reneged their, their, their offer to him. And he was so upset. He wanted to take them to court. He was all upset. And the other people around him was telling him, no, it's not worth it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But married four times and he's trying to pastor. See, I'm going to share with something that I have uh, on another video of really, I thought of a great article that breaks down really a pastorship and kind of just goes in each based, you know, upon the scriptures there and kind of, but I like how it broke it down. And I'm going to share that because we know, you know, scripture tells us that, you know, a pastor, you know, you, you supposed to be able to rightly be able to teach is the main thing rightfully divide the word of truth. You're not supposed to have, you know, your own flipping the scriptures and twisting it the way you want it to sound. No, you're supposed to be able to teach and preach. You're supposed to be the husband of one wife. There's a whole lot of little things that's within there, but this article goes in the little, I, I really like how it broke it down. So we'll talk about that on another video. But the whole point I want to let you know is, is that anything, it's important to seek the Lord to find out what it is that he's called for you to do. You know, you're not to do your own desires. Scripture says, delight thyself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. That doesn't mean he gives you what you want. It means as you immerse yourself with him and, 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 and walk with him and, and all of that, any them desires that come up will be because he placed them there within your heart. And you will want to, you'll know when you've been called by God for something. Whether it's, I mean, whether it's working at a food pantry, whether it's being on the mission field, whether it's teaching Sunday school, whether it's babysitting and, and, and keeping having kids around, whether it's, I mean, there's all kinds of things how what has God has called people to do and the problem is people want to jump into other types of callings because they a lot of people and especially within the church realm so many people they see that pastor that person and some of the famous big preachers and people that are out there I want to be like that I want to be up on stage and have everybody worship me well that's not what it's about I'm glad that I recognize like whoa I know the seriousness of it. It is serious business. So we'll talk about it more. We'll continue to talk about issues the church run away from. We'll continue to expose Satan and his devices and punch them right in between the chops. Maurice Braxton is my name. Evangelism for God's the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing, hit like, coming along for the journey, because we're going to continue to give God glory. And until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.